I didn't swap it tonight, I was cutting it into a tuna. It's Thursday evening, and this posh Miami Beach home has been turned into a bargain basement. Here, swapping is the new shopping. This is so cute. That one's great. Oh, Trudy, this is gorgeous. Fifteen shopaholics clean out their closets and trade their gently worn Gucci for someone else's Chanel. Yeah, not taking out your wallet is fun, and getting something new is fun. I think the idea of the barter uh, has been something that's been going on for a long time. I think it's just trying to catch fire now. Because? Because of the recession. These days, it's hip to pay less for more, a lot more. Michelle yeah. Lanies bought a whole new wardrobe at Goodwill. There must be 25, 30 pieces for $48. In the first four months of this year, Goodwill sales were up $71 million, a 10% increase over last year. You are just as likely to see a woman come in in a brand new Mercedes in a Goodwill as you are in on a bike. <laughs> Lynn Tella found brand name jeans for her daughter for only two dollars. For me it's a game, it's a hunt, it's, it's entertainment, but it's also, it just makes economic sense. This is cute. Which is also why consignment stores like C. Madeline's in Miami are seeing a bump in business. This store is on track to beat last year's sales by $150,000. The jacket is fabulous. Owner Madeline Kirsch sets the price for the clothes, and when they sell, the former owner gets half. Knowing that I can bring in here and make money off of that is totally a relief. I'm going to use this, and I was never and I'm using put this that. Away. It's all about recycling. You don't need designer labels to sell or swap just friends who share the same size and taste. You know that you're at least going to get some new stuff. But let the swapper beware, no returns allowed. I asked my swapping partner if she would um, she would trade back, and, and it was an emphatic no. <laughs> Kelly Kobiella, CBS News, Miami Beach.